Hello, my name is Gregory Fries, and I'm the installation coordinator for the Light Source 2 Accelerator. Today we're going to be looking inside the storage ring tunnel at the activities in process. The storage ring tunnel is 792 meters around. That's roughly half a mile. We're going to start at the injection point. The tables you see are where the beam gets injected from the booster tunnel into the storage ring tunnel, and that's where installation is currently in process. All of the storage ring magnets are currently installed. 843 magnets total. The storage ring is made up of 150 magnet girder assemblies of alternating types. The blue magnets are the dipole magnets and used to bend the beam around the ring. The yellow magnets are the quadrupole magnets used to focus and defocus the beam. The orange magnets are the sextipole magnets and used to limit the oscillations in the vertical and horizontal direction of the beam. Finally, the small reg magnets are corrector magnets and used to make corrections to the beam's position. The reason there are so many magnets is for the required brightness, intensity, and stability of the beam. You'll notice the yellow caution tape along some of the magnets on the left. This is to indicate that high current power supply testing is in process. You'll notice some sections of the storage ring have straight metal beam pipes with no magnets installed. This is the area where future insertion devices will be installed for future beam lines. The insertion devices are an array of smaller magnets that create the X-rays for the beam lines. You'll also notice there are sections of the storage ring that have no beam pipe or magnets installed. These are where the first insertion devices will be installed in the fall of 2013. All of the equipment and electronics used to support the magnets and other equipment in the storage ring are located on the roof of the tunnel. That's why all the wires and cables come down from the roof. The temperature in the storage ring tunnel is tightly maintained at 78 degrees. The small portable clean room shown here on the left is used during installation. Cleanliness is essential to keep any foreign particles out of the vacuum beam pipe. Therefore, this clean room is moved from section to section during installation to ensure that cleanliness. The storage ring is divided into five sections that we call pentants. Each pentant is divided by a sectioning gate, which you'll see throughout the tunnel. They allow individual pentants to be secured. The recessed section of the tunnel floor, shown here on the left, will house the RF cavity. These RF cavities generate the energy to maintain the electron beam in the storage ring. Upon startup, the facility will have seven beam lines for early science. The facility will ultimately be built out to include about 60 beam lines. The high quality manufacturing and precision installation are key to creating this world class facility. We traveled around the storage ring in about two minutes. The electrons will travel continuously around the ring at close to the speed of light.